Hello everyone and welcome back to Tool Wizard. In this video, we'll show the 5 best fixed blade broadheads on the market that will help you to choose the best one. So let's dive into the video. Whether you're looking to make long, accurate shots from the ground or take down big bucks from your tree stand, G5 Outdoors Montec broadhead lets you choose exactly what you need. It has different weight options. You can choose between 85, 100 and 125 grains. Talking about the best weight for a broadhead inevitably brings up arguments in the bow hunting community. But the truth is, it depends on your goals and preferences. Basically, the broadhead is just one piece of metal. This means it doesn't have parts that can break or come loose, ruining your accuracy. The blade shape itself is tapered which makes it easy to sharpen. Along with its smaller cutting diameter, its excellent slicing ends up not leaving much of a blood trail. Pros, three weight options, single piece injection molding, easy to sharpen, highly penetrative sharpness. Cons, small to average cutting diameter, produces poor blood trail. The NAP fixed blade broadhead is sometimes called old reliable in the bow hunting community because of its sharp blades and penetrative power. It has over an inch of cutting diameter, but more importantly, it's manufactured with micro-grooved slimline ferrules. Like serration on a knife, these help the broadhead cut through flesh and achieve better penetration, increasing your chances of a lethal shot. Unfortunately, NAP designed the Thunderhead years ago and it isn't as adept as handling the power of newer compound bows and crossbows. The blade have a lot of drag and pulls the arrow off course if it's even slightly untrue. Pros, value pack 5, wide cutting diameter, penetrative grooved for reels, lightweight 100 grains. Cons, less accurate at high power, susceptible to wind. The Ramcat Hydroshock is a broadhead that made to our video because of its versatile options. With deep treads, you get a more stable broadhead, so along with the O-ring system of the shank. This makes the arrow truer and more accurate. In general, the Hydroshock is one of the most aerodynamic models on the market. In fact, the concave design of the tip lets it cut through the air and flesh. The other part is that it's a pivoting broadhead. It's kind of in between a fixed blade and mechanical broadhead. The blades aren't retractable before the shot, but they do pivot forward when they strike flesh giving them a bigger cut and producing more damage. Pros, multiple weight and tread options, stays true easily, wild cutting diameter. Cons, screw design can break, an irregular path through deer. Muzzy is another popular brand, both in the bow hunter community in general and here at Deer Hunting Guide. So check out the Muzzy Bow Hunting Broadhead. One of the reasons for this low price is that you have to assemble the broadheads yourself. If you don't know what you're doing, then this can make it hard to true the arrow and get a consistent, accurate shot. This provides more internal damage and penetration over other broadhead designs. You'll get a better blood trail and you're more likely to get a lethal shot even if you're slightly off and strike bone or cartilage. Pros, value six pack, destructive choker point, four stainless steel blades. Cons, inconsistent assembly, small cutting diameter. The QAD Exodus is a multi-piece broadhead. As a result, it's the most consistent or accurate on the market. Along with the sharp 0.40 inch blades, it comes with a stainless steel tip called the Rockbuster. Add in the wide 1.25 inch cutting diameter and heavy 125 grain weight and you get a broadhead that will plow through bone and cartilage causing maximum internal damage. Another upside of this multi-piece design is that you can just replace the blades instead of sharpening them. By being both short and wide, they produce more spin to improve accuracy and again penetration. Pros, destructive steel tip, wide cutting diameter, replaceable blades, short blades. Cons, insecure multi-piece design, high price. That's it for today guys, always remember to subscribe us on YouTube and if you enjoyed watching the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Until we meet again, signing off.